Hello, I'm John Milner and I make fishing reels. And today I'd like to demonstrate the uh, installation of um, ball bearings in one of my Kingfisher line fishing reels. So before we get started on that, I would like to draw your attention to this diagram so you'll know what, what to find when you get inside the, the reel. Okay. This is a schematic of the, the core of my reel. This is a center hub. And uh, these are two ball bearings that we make. They're, these bearings are uh, German-made precision ABEX 7 ball bearings, stainless steel. Those are the two main ball bearings. Uh, this is a, uh, a retaining clip to prevent the ball bearings falling out of there. This is a wave spring for keeping lateral pressure on the two ball bearings so that the bearings actually ride round on the back part of this bearing of the outer race and the other side of the inner race. That's called uh, the preload. You'll probably hear that referred to quite often if you're messing with uh, ball bearing reels. So we've got the rear clip, the ball bearing, the ball bearing, the wave spring. This is a, an aluminum sleeve for uh, uh, supporting the spring. This is a fur, the front clip to, that retains the front ball bearing. Um, so, yeah, so when, when, you, when you start removing the bearings, that, this is the order that you will take the parts out. You'll, you'll put a, a compressor through there to compress the spring, which will relieve the pressure from the, the rear clip. Remove the rear clip, remove the rear bearing, slide out the wave spring, slide out this sleeve, slide out this inner sleeve, Turn the reel over, remove this front clip, and remove that bearing. So, let's get started, shall we? You will need one or two simple tools to be able to do this. I find useful uh, pair of tweezers. Um, a couple of, of um, small screwdrivers. And... Uh, from the local hardware store, uh, just a, a screw and a, and a nut. This is just a countersunk uh, number 8 by 32 threads per inch machine screw and a nut that fits it. That's what we use for compressing the, the spring when we're taking it apart. Um, what else do we need now? I prefer to use a little hard screwdriver for manipulating the retaining clips. You'll be able to see when we get a bit closer up, in the end of the screwdriver I've got just a little notch which sort of fits onto the wire. I would recommend that you make up a similar tool yourself. This is a chopstick from the local Chinese restaurant. I've ground it down rather like a screwdriver just shape on the end and I'll put just a little bit of a, a nick in the end so that but we can mess with the uh, bearings. A couple of words of caution. This material that the reel made of is aluminum, 6061 aluminum, is relatively soft so you will need to be fairly careful stabbing away inside here when you're taking out the clips. This is a um, a ball bearing, a larger one than you'll be using, but just to demonstrate what goes on here, this is the outer ring of the bearing, this is the, the inner race, the outer race, the inner race. This dark part in the inside is a seal, and on, on these bearings that you'll be using, that, that seal is replaced with a shield. It's a very thin stainless steel plate that sits on the, uh, on the front of the bearing that is very, very susceptible to damage. So you have to be careful when you're assembling, you don't go poking that thing too hard. Um, 
What else we got here? Okay, the you'll be getting your reel. In this condition, you'll need to take it apart. I've got a special screwdriver to loosen the screw off at the front. A dime will do it just quite nicely. The slot is made just the right size for a dime to fit. Remove the screw. Put it to one side for future use. And pull the reel apart if you're lucky. <laughs> What's going on? There. So there we have the reel you're going to be working on. You want to have it nice, nice firm work surface to be doing it. Um, what I recommend for you is to get something like a, a couple of books so you can set the down in there, stays nice and firm for digging around in there, turn it over to work on the other side. I won't be using that, I'm going to use a different spool for the demonstration. It doesn't have handles, so I can quite happily put it flat on the table like that. So I'll put this back together with luck. And put the screw in. So now we'll proceed to um, to change our bearings. So uh, let's get started. Very anyway, well. Here we go. So we'll begin by taking out the rear bearing. We need to compress the spring in there. What I use is this little screw. Drop it in the hole there on the back. Put my lead wood washer. And my nut, hold the nut, and then we'll just pinch up this screw. That'll keep the spring compressed while we dig out the, the clip there. So look very carefully, go around until you come to the open end of the clip. which is right there should be able to pull that out no that's not it that's not it Not having much luck here. Here we go. There's the end. Okay, now I've sp exposed the end. You need to be really careful here. These, these springs want to fly away. So I'm just going to grab the end of that spring with my tweezer and tease it out, keeping my finger on the spring at the same time. Put it down there. Now I should be able to take the pressure off the bearing set up and then that bearing should either push out or take a little rod, that's what I use, go right through to the back end of the bearing, give it a push. This one is fairly tight in there but it will come just actually what we might call a perfect fit. I'm able to reach in there. Just very carefully tease this little baby out. There. So that's one bearing. Also what came out of there was the little wave spring we spoke of earlier. See it? That's what keeps the spring pressure up. 
also was the center sleeve. What's left in there is the outer sleeve. You don't actually need to take this out but let's get it out just for the hell of things. And there's the outer sleeve that came out. Okay. Then we should be able to turn this reel over, remove the front clip all the time being really careful not to not to stab that shield if you if you dig into that shield it'll, it'll force the shield onto the balls of the ball bearing and the rear won't spin worth the damn so just keep your finger on this little spring clip I'll tease it out like that there she is there's the other clip And I should be able to just push this out. Get yourself a piece of dowel or something just to get that out. So there's a there's the real disassembled. The center clip, if you remember on the diagram, but this center clip here, that's still in the reel. We don't need to remove it. So now all we need to do is reverse this process. And the way we do that, well first of all we will inspect our clips, make sure that they're symmetrical, decent shaped, there's a decent little gape on them, you know they're not bent way out of shape like this. You don't want that. Just bring them back, tease them around till they're nice and even with a nice little gap in there. So that one looks good, that one looks pretty good, I guess we'll be fine. So let's put the bearings back, so let's go put our top bearing in first, very carefully, tease it in, push it into place, take one of our clips, I usually get it start get it sort of started on the back, the opposite side to the the gape of the of the wire. I'll push that in like that and sort of get them down into the grooves and get my finger on top of the thing like that. And then you could take your little special tool with the fork on the end and push that in there like that. And push that one in there like that have a look at it. If you look very carefully these aren't quite seated, the, the little clips haven't found the way into the, into the groove. So now you've got to be going around with your driver and just very carefully making sure you don't touch that shield. Force them into the groove, back into the groove. That's it, they're in there nice and tight. Lovely. Turn it over and then we reverse that process. Now the first thing to go in will be the big outside sleeve like that. Just pop it down inside. The next thing will be our wave spring. That'll sit there on top of that on top of that sleeve. So that's sitting down in there very nicely. Then we'll slide our bearing down on top of the, I'm sorry, the inner sleeve, really important. That has to be in there too. Both sleeves have to go in there. That drops in. In goes the top bearing. Very carefully. Don't force it, just rock it around and make sure it goes in there like that and then we'll put the top the last clip in there before we do that we've got to compress that um, uh, wave spring two or three ways you can do it you can get a friend to push it down hold it down while you tease the, the clip in there you can take your screw that you used before put that in there 
backwards like that with a washer on it. Turn it over, pinch it up, not tight. Now we should be able to just change the, the bearing in there. Make sure the clip's good. Get that push back in there like that. Get the I'm just just squeezing the top of those together like that. Push the back end of the clip into there. Hold it down with the fingers. And then taking your little prongy groove job, push that inside. Make sure it's seated in there well. Take the other side. Push that in there like that. Inspect it, make sure that this, the clip is seated well. That's good. And then... Take out the little compressor job. And that is pretty much that. There's your um, replacement bearings. A couple of things to add before we go. This, um, this procedure it's only good for the um, reels which left my shop after January 2013. Um, before that I had a different, a different way of installing them um, which involved press work and it was just not very satisfactory, certainly not satisfactory for the, the home hobby man to change bearings on the kitchen table. I've changed that. This procedure you have is a new procedure. It works very well. Um, you're, if, if you're wondering if your reel has that feature, if you look on the back of the reel right where it says Kingfisher or where it says in any of my Reels, you know, the Big E or the Labrador, they all have a title. Right below it is a serial number. First three letters of that serial number is the year that this frame was made. In this case, the number is K13115. This reel was made in 2013. So this reel would be suitable for uh, this procedure. Um, if you have a, a reel with an older serial number and you're not really sure whether it's got the, the more modern uh, installation features, give me a call, email me, whatever. I have a complete record of uh, all my reels and I'll be able to tell you uh, if, your re if your reel can be uh, easily changed like this. If, if your reel can't be changed this way, I invite you to send me a reel. I will convert the reel to the, 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 the more modern, uh, up-to-date way of installing the bearings for you, so you'll be able to do it yourself. Um, I will do that just for the, the price of bearings. I'll be, you know, send, it, send the reel to me, I'll put new bearings in for you, and I will also do the conversion. Um, so that is that. Um, yeah, well, a, a good luck with this. <laughs> the um, it, it is fairly straightforward, but uh, if you do start changing the bearings and, and those bearings are really difficult to come out, for sure, send me the reel. I'll fix it up for you so it can be worked on happily. Uh, be really careful when you're installing about not damaging the shield in the bearing. You don't have to be buying two lots of bearings. And um, yeah, that's it. that's about it. So uh, there again, thanks for using one of my reels. I do appreciate it, and uh, I hope this works out well for you. So with that, uh, good night and God bless. <laughs>